Welcome to Boom and Biggs TV. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything Biggs and I ate vegan on the Carnival Liberty during our four-day cruise to the Bahamas. For most meals, we ended up eating at the buffet or surrounding food venues. We only ended up eating in the main dining rooms on the last day. The first day for lunch, I got some salad, some mixed vegetables, and a burrito from Blue Iguana Cantina. I love Blue Iguana, but it's only open for lunch, so I end up eating there almost every day. Thank you. <laughs> Biggs waited in the line for Mongolian Walk for at least 30 minutes. That was longer than that, about an hour. For dinner, I found rice, baked potato, green beans, and a salad on the buffet, and Biggs had veggie burgers from the deli. The next day for lunch, I had Mongolian wok, and as you see here, there's a lot of different noodles and veggies. You choose what you want and put it in your bowl, and you bring it to them so they can stir fry it for you. You definitely want to ask them to cook with water and soy sauce or other vegan sauce that you'd like. I have in the past brought a small cup of water up with me and they would use that to cook with instead of the animal broth and oil. Here's what my bowl looked like. It was so delicious. Probably the best food I had the whole time. Unfortunately, Mongolian Wok is only open for lunch and the line is usually so long. I also got some beans, rice, and salad from the buffet and a plain burrito wrap from the deli to make my own burritos. These potatoes were some potatoes Biggs got from the buffet and didn't want, so they're sitting in front of me. This is what my wrap looked like after I crafted it together myself. It was pretty yummy. So I had the burrito and the Mongolian wok. For dinner, we didn't see much on the buffet, so we asked if the chef could make us something vegan. They were happy to do so, and this is a delicious vegan pasta with veggies. So keep in mind that you can always ask the chef to make you something vegan, even at the buffet. The next day, we were at Carnival's private island, Princess Kay's, and the only things we saw that were vegan were salad, chips, rice and beans, and veggie burgers. That night, we had another vegan pasta dish made for us by the chef at the buffet again. The next day, we went to a main dining room for the Sea Day brunch. This ship doesn't have a vegan menu like some of the other ones do, so it's chef's choice and it's a surprise. The chef decided to make us pancakes and then a plate of potatoes, basically, which was kind of funny to us. We also ordered some cold-pressed juices that were so good. For dinner, it was another chef's choice in the main dining room, which started with a really colorful salad. And then these wraps with beans and veggies in them. I'm not sure what they're called, but this was pretty good. And dessert was a banana mango pudding. Mm -hmm.